one of the funny things that I've been seeing you know, going on on the internet is this consistent discussion about NFTs and the metaverse and blockchain technology being included into video games. And this has gotten a lot of people talking. And I, I don't mean that in a positive way. I mean that people are just generally pissed at the idea of NFT creeping ever so slowly into the video game space. This has a similar vibe to microtransaction when we were first seeing the I guess the evolution of microtransaction in AAA games, people did not like it and they were pissed. Now, fast forward a couple of years now, people don't care too much anymore as long as it's executed correctly. So I feel like the same thing might be happening with NFT. You know, we see how disgusting NFTs can be in some cases, like the, um, was it the Bored Ape or something like that? But there are some NFTs that have been handled pretty interesting. Like if you check out um, Vivi, which is an app where they handle licensed based NFTs, so licensed for Marvel, DC, um, um, Disney and all that stuff, could say it's a better executed uh, um, handling, I guess, of NFTs. So, and obviously, I, th I think Ubisoft was the first to double in the NFT by bringing it to Tom Clancy's um, What's it called? Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon or something like that, and they were only able to sell, according to the um, reports, about you know 1,000 NFTs. Some people say it's 15, but I've seen people try to correct that number and say that it's not really 15, but I don't know, somewhere in between 15 or 1,000, whatever. And the way it's been handled is, you know, people don't like the idea that you have to pay into NFTs. Now it could be, it could be that the way future companies might handle NFTs will be something in the lines of, um, like I said, a mixture of microtransaction or it's an item that you can earn in-game and if you were able to craft this item in-game, it has some real um, life value. And people hate NFTs because they feel like, oh, it's just, it's a grubby way for people to make money on the poor. But I want you guys to look at it from a different perspective because we are looking at it from, I'm gonna be honest with you, we're looking at it from a first world perspective where we feel like these big companies are trying to find more ways to get money out of our pockets. But NFTs have actually opened up a lot of doors for people in the third world countries. For example, Axie Infinity, it's, it's a game where you kind of breed these Pokemon like creatures. And yes, initially you have to pay a little bit of money to get in but i've heard reports that people have used that to make a basic income salary like they get a monthly income salary this this actually pertains um more strongly to countries in africa and countries in southeast asia where people have actually made more income than they would have gotten from their daily nine to five jobs so it's benefiting them to some degree of course, for us in the first world country, we see it more as a money grab and, you know, there are some money grabs that just seem very grubby. Example, again, would be the Bored Ape. It, it, like, it makes no sense. I'm gonna be honest with you. Bored Ape makes no sense. It's literally just a fucking monkey and it's just a flex and it doesn't even make sense. Whereas, if we could give it some application and give it some use case, like for example, with Vivi, it's a lot more you can do with the NFTs that you get in Vivi than what you can do with a bored ape and maybe we're seeing an evolution of that happening with the video game um, industry where we can see like I don't know, I'm just a little bit more optimistic with NFTs it can be done correctly like NFT in and of, in of itself isn't evil it's how people use NFT that ends up making it either good or evil, if that makes sense. So yeah, I mean, Square Enix um, CEO Yosuke, um, Yosuke Masuda talked about how he's fully embracing NFTs. And uh, we're seeing the same thing as well from Ubisoft. They're fully embracing NFTs. A lot of companies are embracing them and NFTs. I think Epic Games is also embracing NFTs. I feel like a lot of people, we're just going to have to accept there's going to be NFTs in gaming. But it's the way that they'll execute it that will make the difference. So here's the way I feel it could be executed well if they don't go from to the money grabbing perspective. And that is essentially you can own NFTs just by playing the game. So let's say you're playing a, a game, whatever. It's, it's mostly going to be more functional in multiplayer games. So let's say you're playing a multiplayer game. You do something specific. Um, for, let's say for example, I'll give you an example like this, right? 
there's an event going on and you have to kill let's say 150 no, no that's too much let's say 1000 players in the span of one month every player that, that is able to kill 1000 players in the span of one month or whatever they get a special item and that item is exclusively tied to their account so they can actually move that item from one game to another and that item will end up having value because not everybody can have that item essentially and they can sell it if they want to they can transact transact it if they want to but it has some value to it and you'll never be able to see this item again so not everyone can purchase it and it, it, i don't know it gives some value so people who probably have no way of making proper money outside of their real life can probably try and make some money in game sell those items i don't know like nfts like i get it it's a complex thing even i sometimes have a difficult time understanding its place in society and where it's gonna go in the future but i'm more optimistic and pessimistic like a lot of people get bad of nfts but when you really think about it you don't have to purchase an nft like you you generally don't have to purchase it if you don't want it don't buy it if people are dumb enough to buy an nft where they don't they don't know where the source is they can't validate its legitimacy they don't do enough research it's their fault it's their fault for losing that money it's just what it is like people are gonna learn one way or another so i don't know for me it's never been like i've never looked at nft like oh man this is a bad or a good thing what i do is i look at who is creating the nft and i check the value to see if it's worth something in the future which that makes sense uh, yeah like i'm always doing research i'm always trying to learn more about nfts people I already am um, hitting it. I mean, when it comes to NFTs on YouTube, sorry, on Twitter, it's usually people who who kind of already hate rich people, and they um <laughs> anything a rich person says he's gonna do, it's a no. I mean, we all saw how people reacted to Logan buying 15 Game Boys to make a raisin ad, and people lost their shit. But he paid for those um 15 Game Boys, and I promise you, if he had never done it. Most of you guys wouldn't even have remembered Game Boy's existence, so I don't know. I feel like I get people's complaint. I've watched a lot of people justify how NFTs have no values, and I think that I would say 80% of NFTs right now actually don't have any value. But if it's executed correctly, I mean, it could, it could, it could be, it could be pretty cool if it's done properly. Like you know, I mean, one thing about gamers is that we want to be ex unique and exclusive. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about NFT in gaming, if it's Hanako. Like we know companies like EA and um, or is it Activision or I don't know what other greedy company we have. We'll try to fucking bastardize this thing and we'll try to milk it as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, listen, when you think about it, we've gone through a lot of evolutions when it comes to gaming. We've gone through DLC, microtransaction loot boxes you remember how we were all against loot boxes which actually when you still think about it still has no value people have thrown hundreds thousands of money into loot boxes and have gained most of you all have gained nothing from it think about all the fucking gacha games that you've played no value you it's kind of funny to me you're willing to put so much money in these gacha games when you know damn well once you're done with the game you've lost thousands of euros you can say, oh, I got the experience out of it, but someone can make that same example and say, I've got an experience out of the NFT that I've bought and there's value to it. So, I don't know, you, you, like, people are going to have to like explain to me the legitimate argument against NFTs. Because, let's face it, there are some games where a specific item is locked away from in loot boxes. Yes, we fought against it, but a lot of times people are just like, whatever, it's cool. Like, like I said, with these NFTs, if they allow you to own the NFT in the game itself, but obviously you have to do some objective and things like that to get the NFT, then that's cool, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I'm Paris, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you're against NFT, especially if you're against NFT, if you are against NFT, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. For me, I'm really indifferent. I, I really am indifferent when it comes to NFTs. I don't really care one way or another. Like, I am a functioning human being if i see an nft that seems like a fucking scam i'm not gonna pay for it easily it doesn't bother me at all um i guess yes i can understand in the gaming scene it could hinder the experience of course if it hinders the experience i will not purchase the game that's how you know you should do things. that's how you send a message which is one of the biggest problems that gamers tend to have they don't know how to send a message when it comes to gaming they'll pay for it and then complain about it 
I mean, check the Pokemon community, for example. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.